In this video, I will briefly explain Niven's proof that pi is irrational. Uh, first, we assume by way of contradiction that pi is rational, uh, meaning that it's a ratio of two integers a and b. Then, given this assumption, it's straightforward to show uh, that for any integer n, the following specific integral uh, is just some integer times n factorial. Uh, you will have to do it yourself. I will not go into all the details. You can start with small n and just open it up, or for any n, just do the first couple of uh, steps of integration by parts. Uh, but I will say in a world what's going on. So we will do more and more integration by parts, each time assuming this is a derivative of a function, which means sine will become cosine and then sine again, and we will have uh, more and more derivatives of the left side. Uh, if you look at x to the n and pi minus x to the n, when we, each time we substitute the boundaries, they will give vanishing terms. So we will get non-vanishing terms only after we do uh, more than n derivatives and manage by more and more derivatives to get rid either of this or that term. But this means we will have taken out n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to 1, uh, so we will have n factorial outside. And when we substitute 0 or pi, uh, the sine or cosine will always give us uh, uh, just 0 or 1. Uh, the remaining term here, which has to be either this or this to some lower power, will give, give us pi to this lower power, or 0. Pi to, a, to the power n or less multiplied by the denominator to the power n is going to be an integer. So we will have many terms, each with n factorial times an integer, so it's going to be an integer times n factorial. Note that we don't know if, that, if this integer, this is just algebra, we don't know if this integer is positive, negative, or zero. Again, do it yourself, but let's move on. Uh, this actually cannot be true. So it looks like a harmless equation, but it actually leads to a contradiction. So the function on the left that, that we are integrating from zero to pi is always positive, as can be easily seen. Uh, me meaning that this integral is positive, so this means that the right-hand side has to be positive and actually bigger than n factorial. And we are going to get into trouble at high n. Why? So if it's bigger than n factorial. On the other hand, look at this function. You can see that it's always limited uh, by this uh, expression uh, because you have this b to the n, uh, x is always smaller than pi, and pi minus x is always smaller than pi, and the range is pi, this is why it's true, and sine is uh, between 0 and 1. And this function is just, uh, when we increase n by 1, it grows by a factor of b times pi squared every time. Uh, and the expression has to be smaller than it. And factorial uh, grows by a factor which is increasing all the time, right, you multiply each time by n, uh, meaning that obviously at some point n factorial, if you go to large n, is going to be bigger than this. So we are getting a contradiction. Uh, at very large n, our, our equality has to be bigger than something which is smaller than this term, and it also has to be smaller than that. This is why pi cannot be rational.